we'll do a little thinking about it, Roy. See if, you know, see if you can maybe come down a little in price. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, you know what I mean? Yeah, good. Now, you call me back, huh? Good. Goodbye. Now, here's the address. Hi, Mama. You take the B trolley. You got your fare? Yes, sir. Good. And when you get out there, you tell them Mr. Duval sent you. Duval. You got your social security card, I mean. Good. We expect to see you back here in a week with a fee, you understand? Honey, Papa here? Yeah, Mama, what? Put this in the drawer, quick, before Lori sees it. What is it? It's a little birthday surprise from you to him. But don't let on I put you up to it. Mama, I don't even think he knows it's his birthday. Oh, all the better, honey. And be sure and have him home for supper tonight, because I wouldn't want him out on a deal and miss the cake. I'll do my best, Mama. And, honey, please don't fight with him tonight. He's the one who starts it. For me, please. All right, Mama. Thanks, darling. I'd like to see you about renting an apartment. All right, uh, you want to take a seat? I'll be with you in just a minute. The Val Agency. I'm sorry, you have to. Oh yeah. Yeah, j just a minute. Telephone. Who is it? It's for you. Well, who is it? It's... You know. It... Oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, close the door, will you? You, you did, huh? Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy! Hang up the phone, will you? Yeah, no, it's right. Get me fired or oh, something? honey, there's nothing wrong with a mother coming to see her son. <laughs> Isn't this nice? What a lovely place to work. It's so peaceful. I gotta get back to my books, Mama. Honey, I got this for you to give him. Give who? What is it? Your papa. He's like a fishing rod. Yes, it's his birthday. And I got it for you so you wouldn't have to go to any trouble. Birthday? Yes, so you'll be sure and be home in time for supper. I made a cake. It's one o'clock. I gotta go over to the five and ten and give Virginia her present. All right, now, Mama, you take it easy. And, honey, when you give it to him, make him a little speech. You know, something like, say, pal, I hope you catch something else besides an old rubber boot with this. You know, something cute. <laughs> He's just out of this world. Gee, he sounds dreamy. No, oh, God, he really is. Does he ever try to get fresh with you? Oh, listen, when you feel this way about a person, it's not fresh. <laughs> it's more like, oh, it's more like natural. You sound like you're really God on the guy. Oh, God, I, I really am. <laughs> oh, and he's not like Harry was, you know, dependable that way. Why, it's more, I, more forceful. Oh, he's the kind of a guy that I just... Darling? Oh, hello, Mama. <laughs> What are you doing out on a hot day like this? Oh, Miss Duval. Oh, honey, don't you look pretty. Well, it must be a hundred out there on the street. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, it's terrible. A real heat wave. Yeah. It's your papa's birthday today, honey. And I didn't want to put you to any trouble, so I got this present for you to give him when he comes home. Mama, I could have done this. Are hey, you having a party, Miss Duval? Well, just a cake and maybe sing him a little song. Mama, you make me feel so ashamed. I could have gotten him something. I'm right here and everything. Oh, honey, it's all right. You just be home on time, you hear? How would you like a nice piece of candy, Miss Duval? Don't you tempt me, you bad girl. I started dieting this morning. I feel better already. You know, I used to be slim as a rail. I was slim as Virginia is. I'll bet you were a knockout, Miss Duval. Well, I got my share of whistles from the boys. Huh? Oh, Mama, you make me feel terrible. Oh, honey, don't be like that. I'm your mama. That's what a mama's for. Now, you be home on time, you hear? Boy, do I think you're lucky, having a mother like that. Mine doesn't even care. I mean, I just think you're so lucky. One. Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five candles. Oh, Mama! Wow, doesn't that make your mouth water? But, Mama, you're going to make him feel awful old. That's a lot of candles. Oh, forty-five's not old. Not for a Cajun. Cajuns have French blood. They always stay young and excitable. When I was a girl, I said to myself, I'm going to get me a real man, 
Not just one of those weak, watery-eyed crackers. Oh, yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Mama. You really got yourself a tiger. Yeah, a tiger by the tail. I don't think I'll ever be 45. Oh, of course you will. I'll die young. I will, in childbirth, something like that. Oh, honey. There, that's my present. Ooh, I could just eat jump. I bet you did eat half of it, too, and you baked it, didn't you? Oh, I did not. I'm on my diet. What a mean thing to say. Just teasing you, Mama. Yes, teasing. That's all you children ever do. Why, it's coming over tonight, Mama. That reminds me. Harry Paul. He's such a nice boy. Oh, yes, Harry. Oh, it was me he wanted to talk to. He never even mentioned your name. Mama, about Wyatt. You wouldn't mind if we kept the front door shut tonight, would you? In this hot weather? Well, Mommy, it seems like we just can't say one word to each other out there without the whole family hearing it. Then Wyatt gets awful funny about it. Well, I don't know why he should. You never say anything the family shouldn't hear, do you? Oh, talk about being a tease. Mm. Yeah. I guess my hands are wet. Mama. Mama, do you like him? Well, if I didn't, I'd have your daddy run him off the place. He's a good-looking boy. Oh, oh, but Mama is so much more than good-looking. There are lots of good-looking boys in New Orleans, you know. But why it's different. He really is. He's solid and looking ahead. And all the other boys, well, all they ever think about is having a ball. How long before he finishes medical school? A year. And then he interns for two more. Oh, honey, he's got to wait all that time before he can get married? Well, I don't know about that. Did he ever say anything about marriage? I think I want to read the paper, Mama. You mean he's never even brought it up? You just can't make somebody say something because you want them to, you know. Well, it all depends how you go about it. You just keep out of it. Why should I keep out? You're my only daughter. A mother wants to help a daughter. Help her find the right man. Keep him on the right track. I don't want any help. Well, you may be young and pretty, but I know a lot more about handling men. Yeah, when are you going to start? I'm sorry, Mama. Oh, no. I didn't mean it's anything. It's all right, honey. It's all right. You didn't really say anything. Look at that lovely table and nobody here. I feel like Smarty Smarty had a party. He'll be here. Mama, just now what I said, I didn't... Honey, when you give him his present, make a fuss over him. You know how much he loves you. Just give him a little hug and say, Papa, why don't we drive up to New Paris in the car after the hot spell? Just you and me and Mama. Mama, it won't do any good. A little vacation. We all need a little vacation. Now, Mama, what's the point? He doesn't want to go back to New Paris. Every time you bring it up, he's... Well, Mama, you should know by this time it won't work. Honey, just do it for me. Give up, Mama. What's the use? Go back to New Paris. Is she on that old refrain again? Now, you keep out of this, buddy. You didn't go and forget your present. Oh, I thought maybe you left it at the office. I forget nothing. Mama, you really want to go back to the farm? Yes, I want to see it again. Smell the fields, see all our old neighbors, show them what fine grown-up children I have. Mama, I tell you what. I get rich, I'm going to buy you a big farm back near New Paris. You can get out there and you can fish and you, and you can kill hogs, Mama. You can plant a little chew in the back of Yeah, Mama, I can see it now. You and your rocking chair and a jug of mule and 40 acres of LSMFT. <laughs> now, stop it. Stop it, both of you. I don't know why the Lord ever gave me such children. I have a good mind to go out that door and never come back. Go on, nobody's stopping you. Why are you going? i got to get cleaned up. Mama, if you're leaving, don't just stand there. You're the meanest young and I raised. I don't know who you get it from. I get it from my daddy, that's who. Sometimes I wish you was back in the army. We used to have a little peace around here. Hey, stupid, how are you? Pop home? He'll be along. Jack, that you, Jack? It's me, Mama. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. I was hoping for once we'd all sit down to supper together. Well, now, I can't wait too long to eat, Mama. You going out? Don't stay in a single one of you, not one night. Tramping around, goodness knows where. I'm only going back to the library, Mama. To work? Billy, I should think you'd be exhausted. No, I want to catch up on some stuff I can't check out. Stay and watch television with me, Billy, huh? Now, Mama, you know I don't like to look at it. Nothing but used cars and old movies. All right, son. Hello. 
Right. Buddy, hurry up! Drop that! Oh, the way you children talk to each other. Is he coming home? Yeah. She's got it all built up in her mind with that cake and those presents like it's going to make everything all right. He'll be here. He'll break her heart, you know, if he doesn't I come tonight. I said he's coming. Are you sure? Look, Virginia, when I tell all you... Right. When I tell you something, that's it. Huh? Why do you ask me a question if you're not going to listen to the answer? Okay. He'll be here because he's got to change his shirt. He's got a date. I was reading in this book where it says it's a good thing to let off steam. Emotionally healthy, it said. It said that in the book? Yeah. Well, I don't know what kind of a book that would be. Yelling at each other? That's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. I don't really like to yell very much. I don't like fights. Maybe it's just that I don't like life to be that personal. <laughs> well, life's a very personal matter, son. Yeah. Like girls, Mama. Do you realize that there are some guys that can walk right up to a girl and start pitching? But me, it's like I gotta know a girl practically all my life before I can even look at her. <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about that too much. The way you're starting to fill out. The girls will be chasing you. Oh, no, Mom. Oh, yes, they will. Coming from all directions. Telephone ringing. I can just see it. You're going to be real handsome. Just like your papa. You think I'm going to be like him? Well, I should hope so. Of course you'll be like him. What sort of a question is that? There he is. Now, you run upstairs and wash. Okay, Mom. Okay. Ginny! Buddy! Papa's home! Come on, get down to supper. Hi, Papa. Hey, hi, Mama. Hey, the kids home? Oh, sure, they're all waiting. Hey, brother boy. Oh. Ginger snap. Man, it was hot downtown. Oh, yes, you poor man working in all this heat. Well, never mind, I got a nice cold supper for you. Potato salad, nice tea, that'll cool you off. Papa! Hey. Hiya, Papa! Hey, here's my ginger snap, girl, baby. Hey, all dressed up for your daddy, huh? <laughs> Papa, this old dress? Oh, I mean it, honey. You um, look like a regular princess. Thank you, Papa. Happy birthday. Birthday? He forgot yeah. his own birthday. Uh, <laughs> now, Papa, you must be really uh, getting old to forget. Is that really my birthday? Yes, uh -huh. happy birthday. Now, open it up. I'm going to see. You, you open it up. What is it? Slippers. Yes. Well, what do I want with slippers? Well, they're for your old age. Now, now sit Gina, down. I'm not that old now. Oh, now, Papa, I was just teasing you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you imagine when I got all dressed up for you? Wyatt's coming over. Wyatt? You know, the one that's studying to be the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, why? Well, I should have known you didn't dress up like that for your daddy. But, Papa, I'm not dressed up, really. Now, come on. Really? Buddy? That boy's been here a lot this summer. He goes off to college real soon, Papa. Good. Get him off my porch. Now, let's all sit down for a real family supper. I want you to meet Wyatt, Daddy. That's so? Helma, the ice melted in this pitcher. Oh, I'll get some. Why do you want me to meet him? Well, because the other night you walked right past us while we were sitting on the porch. Oh, I did, huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, Father. Hey, hi, Billy Boy. And you ah. didn't even look at us. Well, now, honey, he wanted to say something. He should have got up and shook hands. But no, he couldn't get his tail off of that glider. Well, Papa, he didn't know who you were. Who do you think I was? Elvis Presley? <laughs> Elvis Presley? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Papa. Now, isn't that the nicest thing? Well, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Papa. No, happy birthday. No, no, you, Papa. Hey, it feels like a walking stick or something. They got traveling around on a cane, huh? No, your Papa's not that old. Hey, it's a fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you catch a lot of whoppers with it. Who, me fish? <laughs> oh, Jack, back in New Paris, you used to go fishing all the time. You're kidding? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I did. Sure, people there really know how to fish. <laughs> Can we eat now, Mama? Oh, yes. Here, pass this to Papa. Mama? I was reading the other day that the family that prays together stays together. So, Lord, we thank thee for this and all thy blessings. Amen. Amen. I was talking to Roy Jonathan today about renting that old store. Oh? He called when you were out. See, I don't think I want to rent it, buddy. 
Yeah, but it's just going to waste, Papa. The whole place is just sitting there gathering dust. Well, look, I did some checking. The floor is still in pretty good shape. The front window's fine. Yeah. Now, I thought we'd tell Roy that we wanted to rent it for a storeroom. Yeah. Play it cool, you know, so yeah. as we get it at a good buy. Yeah. Then get everything down on paper, business-like. Spring. Uh, uh, pass us all, will you, Billy? Then you know what there's nothing of on Cordell Street? Money. <laughs> No restaurant. Well, there's no restaurant on Cordell Street because there's there's no money on Cordell Street. No, buddy. They all eat home. Yeah, yeah but, but that's not the kind of restaurant oh. I had in mind. Oh, oh, what'd you have in mind? Papa, I did a little moving around when I was in the Army. Mm -hmm. You know what's the big thing today all over the country? No. Rich and poor alike, they're going to pizza parlors. Pizza parlors. All you need is a cook, an oven, and a beer license, and a cash register to put all your money in. You don't say so. And it wouldn't cost much to start. Now, you'd be surprised with a lousy $1,500. Oh, you, you got the lousy $1,500? Now, this can make a lot of money for you, Papa. Oh, I'm just you're going to do this and make me rich. Well, I don't know about rich, but well, we'd go in partners. And, oh, and I... oh, now we're partners. How much money are you going to put up, partner? I'm putting up a red-hot idea. Oh, I don't pay for ideas. I pay for work. Sure. And you got another idea in your head. You got an idea you know more about business than I do. Listen to what I say. I've lost more money in my life than you'll ever make. You want to know facts? Go to a man who's lost money. There's a man who knows. Money. I'm paying you every cent you're worth. Now, what do you need more money for? It's not so much a matter of the money. Then what is it? I want some independence. I want a chance to wheel and deal on my own yeah. for a change. Wheel and deal on the money I've earned with the sweat of my hands. You know. The heat's got this boy. Oh, yes, it was terribly hot today. Terribly. Hey, Billy, how's things at the library, eh? All right, Papa. Hey, hey. maybe you ought to take the big shot here around with you. You know, they get a load of him. Maybe they'll want him to autograph a few books, like uh, uh, How to Get Rich in Ten Easy Lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Hey, how you doing, Billy, huh? You know, you're filling out some. Yeah, one of these nights, you and me ought to step out on the town. From the time you learn the facts of life. Oh, oh, Jack. How do you like that? She don't even know what we're talking about. Not at the table. Don't you pay any attention to him, Billy. Yeah, yeah, Alma, what I'm talking about is an evening between us men down at Red's pool. Oh, kids out of high school going in the army soon. Time you learn to shoot a little pool, drink a little beer. Wouldn't that be nice, Billy? Huh? How about it, huh? Tonight, Papa? Oh, gee, I can't tonight, Billy. I'm, I'm kind of busy. I got a big deal, see? Sure, I understand, Papa. Oh, certainly, Billy. You can't expect your Papa to take you out after a hard day's work. Don't always be trying to make up excuses for me, Alma. I, I don't have to justify my reaction around this. Oh, thing. no, Jack. I was only... Never mind what you was on. Please. Oh, you haven't finished your supper. I'm not hungry. Will you let him go, Alma. Now, don't always be trying to throw a rope around you. You going back to the library, dear? No, Mama. I think I'll stick around and maybe look at television with you. The library. That kid really lives in Dreamtown, USA, don't he? What do you mean? Him and his books. You know, poetry, Swinburne, all that stuff. You don't approve? Whether I approve or not doesn't matter, but... Wait till this kid gets drafted. Those sergeants will Swinburne him, boy, but I mean good. Is that a fact? <laughs> Take it from me, I know. You know, huh? Anybody like some more of this nice potato so, salad? Um, so you know, huh? What do you know? What do they teach you? How to go pussyfooting around my back, trying to involve me in deals. Is, is that what you know? Huh? I'm not going behind your back. You know, you've got some funny ideas, mister. And one of them is that you're getting smarter than me. Here he goes again. Now, I'll tell you a fact. You're so interested in facts with night school and correspondence. Just course one night, like I'd like to be able to sit buddy, at this table and carry on a decent, buddy, orderly conversation now, with you. You're not as smart as me, and that's a fact. You never I'm, will be as I'm smart as me, and years that's old. another fact. You're just a dumb, shirt-tailed kid I'm with a man. greedy gut attitude I do a man's life. work, and you treat me like a Buddy, boy. there's more things in life than money. I just and want that's a fact. Well, to to Maybe if you didn't know. Mama, don't tell and me to listen. the sooner you find that out and say, the sooner you're putting around me behind my back, the sooner we're going to start getting along. And the sooner I'll be ready to give a little thought to the matter of lending you my hard-earned money. Partner! Happy birthday. Jack, don't be mad with him. He's just a boy. He didn't mean it. He was just carried away. What do you mean he didn't mean it? Of course he meant it. And he's right. <laughs> he's 
ride as rain. <laughs> you know, he's starting to straighten out. He's starting to act a little like a man. I just don't understand you. <laughs> Jenny, now that Wyatt's going back to college, why don't you take your vacation? Maybe, maybe you could go on a little trip. Trip? Mama means a, a trip to New Paris, Daddy. Yes, why don't we do that? Just get in the car and go. You know how Mama wants to see it all again. Well, Jack, we could be there in five or six hours. Wouldn't that be nice to see the old place again, see all our old friends and neighbors? Uh, oh, I don't think the car would make that heavy trip. But all you have to do is get it fixed up, Daddy. Then you and Mama could just get in the car and go. Well, I thought you said you wanted to go. Oh, well, sure I would, but, well, I don't remember it too well, and my memories of it anyway aren't nearly like the memories that you two have of it. Memories, yeah. I got memories, all right. Oh, Jack, it's all different now. You remember that letter I showed you from Essie May? Uh, no, I, I didn't read it through. Oh, oh, things are humming there. They got new stores opening up. And Essie Mae says there's a big super highway running right through the center of the town. But she says you can still pick up a real nice place, cheap. And, Daddy, it would be a good rest for you, too. It would, a trip like that. Around Christmas time? Wouldn't that be wonderful, all those good things to eat? Jambalaya with sausage and red fish and grits. Oh, I remember you with that Creole cooking. And folks that make us bring things back, Jack. You know, maybe a ham and a bucket of that fresh-made syrup. Don't that just make your mouth water? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, we'll see. And you know how I like to plan things ahead, Papa. So would it be all right to write Essie May and tell her we're coming? I'd say not to be a bit surprised to look up and see us driving up around Christmas time. Hmm? That sounds, uh, I will talk about it some other time, huh? The paper's right there by the settee. Oh, I, uh, already saw one downtown. Don't you worry, Mama. He'll take you back there one of these days. Oh, no, he won't. I don't know how a family can change so much. We used to be a family. We had hard times now and then, but we were all part of each other. We used to do things together. Now we're all pulling in different directions. He's going out again tonight. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yes, he is, honey. <laughs> Oh, that's why. Billy, tell Wyatt Virginia will be right out. How do I look? Oh, you look pretty as a picture, honey. Can I fix this up for you. I'm going to keep that door closed tonight. Mama. All right. Door open like that, he's got to be so careful with every word he says. I know. And, and he's only got a week more, so you just cozy up to him, dear, and lead the conversation around to you in the future. <laughs> so scared I'll ruin it. Oh, what's it to ruin? He's bound to propose sooner or later. <laughs> Mama, suppose I do, like you say, lead the conversation around, and then... Mama, I'd rather he said nothing than to have him say no. Don't you worry, honey. It's all right. Hi. Hello. What's with the door? I thought maybe we could talk. Don't you come down and watch television with me? Oh, I can't, Mama. I, uh, I'm going out. Oh, where are you going? I told you, sweetie. I, I gotta work. Oh, you work too much. It's such a hot night. Why don't you just get into your new slippers and come on and sit down and watch television? Oh, boy, does that sound good. But I can't, sweetie. I got this big deal. Isn't that a new tie? Well, yeah, I, I guess it is. Well, what do you have to get all dressed up for? Well, I'm gonna take it easy. What kind of a deal is it? All right, you're going to cross-examine me, honey. No, but maybe I should. Coming home at all hours and won't tell me where you've been. Like an old tomcat oh. prowling around. Well, if you're doing anything wrong, don't let me catch you. Now don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I'm, I'm not your child. I was just teasing. <laughs> and, and, Papa, won't you think about what we were talking over at, at supper, you know, a new Paris, a little trip, because it would mean so much to me, to us. All right, sweetie, I'll think about it. And 
everything's slipping away from us, Jack. You know, the children are all pulling away, and there's, there's really nothing left to hold us here. We could go back and start all over again like a couple of kids. It's not too late for us, Jack. What's the door closed for? What's this door shut for? Oh, Daddy. Daddy, I want you to meet Wyatt. This is Wyatt Mitchell, my father. Glad to know you, Mr. Duval. Yeah, it seems I've noticed you around here pretty often, huh? Yes, sir. I'm uh, glad we finally met. Yeah, I better get a few things straight, young man. All right, sir. I uh, hear you, uh, you go to medical school? Yes, sir, that's right. You got a lot of money? I mean, uh, you, uh, you a rich boy? Oh, no, sir. Uh, it means you don't plan on getting married for a long time, huh? Check. Now, you just keep out of this till I've had my say. You see this glider? She bought it herself with her own money. Wanted it for dates, so they wouldn't see what the inside of my house is like. Daddy, please. Seems like all her dates is you. I like Virginia a lot, sir. You don't count on marrying her, though, huh? Mama! Jack, you leave that I boy. I told you to stay out of this. We, uh, that never came up, sir. So it adds up to the, is that you're not serious. Just kind of playing around, huh? Uh, Mr. Duval. Jack. Why did you let her close that door like that, huh? That kid. I ain't no kids like that. How could you do a thing like that? Your own flesh and blood. Your own daughter. Humiliating her like Billy, that. Billy, come on. We're going to the house. Where you coming? Going. Jimmy's upstairs. She's just getting prettied up. You know, this hot, muggy weather, it's hard to keep looking fresh. Well, thank you, Mrs. Duval, but I think it'd be better all around if I just no, came back no, another... No, no, she won't be a minute. Now, you come on, wait. You stay right here, and don't you move an inch, because I'll have her down before you can say scat. I'm sorry, it was all my fault. I must have said something that made him mad, so he took it out on the boy. Oh, Mommy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> now, honey, you wash your face and you go back down there. Oh, I can't. <laughs> but, honey, maybe it's better this way. It gets the question out in the open, see? Oh, Mom, I don't want it out in the open. Oh, honey, you mustn't be afraid of life. You love him, don't you? <laughs> Have you told him you loved him? Well, then you go right down there, honey, and you say to him, I love you. Those are the three sweetest words in the English language. I am oh, so honey. scared. Oh, honey, come on. No, no, no. You listen to Mama. There isn't a man living that doesn't want to hear that from the girl he loves. You go wash your face now. That's Mama, baby. I'd known this was good. Let's take
fan, what are you doing? Why don't you come over? No, I'm all alone. They all had something to do, every last one of them. Well, Virginia and Wyatt went out a little while ago, but they... Well, they're, they're liable to be back any minute, so I gotta stay here. You know how Jack is. Why don't you come over and keep me company? Beer? No, but I got a great big chocolate cake. We could just eat ourselves sick. Diet? What have I got to diet for? Come on over, huh? To tell you the truth, friend, I'm a little bit lonesome. Thanks. Hey, boys. On, hey, hey, Spitty. <laughs> hey, hiya, Jess. Hi, Jack. How you doing, huh? Hey. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Mr. Duval. Give me a beer, will you? Sir. Hi, Red. What do you have? Hey, Sam, that's my boy. Glad to know you. Glad to make your acquaintance. What do you have? I'll have a cream soda. Hey, what's the matter, Bill? Don't you want a beer? No, oh, Papa. I never had one. You never had? Hey. It's new generation, they're making them different. <laughs> yeah, it's time we got you off that cream soda. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, keep the change. Well, thank you very oh, much, thanks. Mr. Duval. Thank you. Yeah, hiya, 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 Charlie. You know who that is? That's Charlie Spector. Owner of the Spector meat packing plant. He's a very big man. It's very important. Here, just look at that. How do you like it, huh? <laughs> Pretty good, Pop. Had <laughs> boy. Pop. Hey, you know the idea of the game, Billy Boy? Well, yeah, you sink the colored ball with the that white ball. <laughs> it's as simple as that, and as complicated as that too. You know, maybe it ain't the most highbrow game in the world, but it's a it's a kind of a challenge. I'll break, huh? We're playing rotation. You get anything you sink as long as you touch the low ball first. Like now, it's the uh, the one. One ball. That's it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, it's your shot. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, 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 Billy, that's wrong. Look, get your finger around it. See? Now, you learn to make a good, solid bridge, you're on your way to shooting good pool. Go ahead. Just relax. That's it. Hey! <laughs> go on, shoot again. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Well, you see, actually, this game isn't what you really call a, a challenge. It's something more on the, on the social side. You see, it gives a man a chance to... Hey, Dave! Hey, how are you? Okay, Jack, you? Never better! <laughs> see, a chance to get out and relax, see the fellas, and incidentally, do a little business. You'd be surprised the amount of business gets done right here. You see, it's more friendly than sitting in a bank with a coat on or up at the Cotton Exchange. Right. Come on. Hey, you don't want to send them more. You know, we pay by the rack. <laughs> you know, Billy, the reason I thought we ought to get together is. Around the house, it seems like I can hardly ever talk to you. It seems like... Like you and me, we... We don't know each other, wouldn't you say? Huh? Well, I don't know, Papa. If you say so. Come on, oh, don't. Well, don't talk like that. Don't give me that if you say so talk. Now, look, Billy. You got something in your mind, huh? Come on, come on, spit it out. Look, th th this is between us. I don't have anything on my mind, Papa. No? What about supper tonight? Family squalms get you down, huh? I don't pay any attention to them. Don't blow me, boy. You hate that bickering, that backbiting, you hate it like poison, you know you do. Yes, I do, Pop. Fine, me too, me too. Come on, let's have some beer. Look, sit down, Billy, sit down. Billy, 
Billy, look. Billy, people can be so close and still so far away from each other, you see? Living in the same house and yet, it, you know, it's, it's like strangers. Groping around like a bunch of sleepwalkers afraid to wake up. Fumbling around the dark, scared they're gonna knock something over, bump into somebody. You, you, you know what I mean? Not exactly, Papa. Oh, Billy, go. Billy, it's, it's, it's like going through life accepting it. Accepting everything about it. Never trying to figure out what they, what they really want. You see, you see what I mean, Billy? You should know what you want. That's it. That's it. And I'll tell you something, Billy. Billy, if you don't know what you want, you're probably going to wind up with what you don't want. Now, you bear that in mind, Billy. It's one of the big secrets of life. See, I never found out that it was too late. We're almost too late. It's your shot, Bobby. Yeah. You see, Billy, it's like this. You see, a man gets married, he has kids, he holds down a job, obligations. And, and, and he goes through all these motions, winding one clock at night, punching another clock in the morning, and and, and one day he, he finds he's, he's got some gray hair. Another day he finds he's, he's growing a little gut. And then it's hair gone, teeth gone, bam, he's dead and it's all over. And for what, Billy? For what? You make a man's life sound so short, Bill Papa. Three score and ten, that's what the Bible says. But, Billy, if you don't watch it, the whole thing, the whole thing goes by just like that. Do you know, Papa, that's right. I, I remember when I was a kid, it seemed like the, the years were longer and bigger. And... Yeah, sure, sure. Now, now, now you feel them speeding up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait till you get to be my age. You know, you know I, I find I'm telling you something that a guy said to me the other day, and you know what? Billy, I get the realization that that was a year before the last. See what I'm driving at, Billy? This, this whole thing, the obligations, the routines, I, it can all get to be like a trap. Now, you take your mother, Billy, and no, no, she, she, she don't understand this. Understand what, Papa? Well, see, th th there's another, another side to it, Billy. A, a man, he's got an obligation to himself, too. Just himself. Now, maybe that sounds selfish to you, Billy, but it's a fact. What do you mean, Papa? Huh? This other obligation. Huh? Well, it's... It's to, to, to fulfill himself. To be as happy as best he can. See, Billy, I... I thought about it, I thought about it. Billy, it just, it just don't seem right that a man was put on this earth to be miserable. You don't seem miserable to me. That's not the right word. I don't know, maybe it is. Sure it is, Billy. But you got Mama, you got us. That's not enough. If that's not enough, Papa, what is it you want more of? I don't want it more. Billy, I want it different. Come on, Billy, cut it out. The people are looking. What's the matter, kid? The beer go down the wrong way, huh? Come on, Billy, cut it out. Billy, see, I thought you'd be the one I could talk to. What are you staring at? Billy. Billy, come on now, Billy. Billy, it's not that I don't love you. It's not that. See, it's... Billy, look. Look, Billy, come on. Look, here's a dollar. Come on, Billy. Look, I, I, I got to go and see you. Come on. You stay around a few racks, huh? Get him up, get him up.
Mr. Duval. Nicest thing you're stopping by to see me like this, Harry. I just wish Virginia was here. I knew they were out, Virginia and that, what's his name, Wyatt. I saw them together. Oh, well, you mustn't mind that, dear. You know how young girls are. Can't make up their minds. This fella, that fella, just flippity gibbets. Virginia's not that way, Mrs. Duval. All the way through high school, she never even looked at another guy. And in the army, the cookies, the letters, the socks, they were like clockwork. Maybe that's it. Why? Maybe I got to taking her for granted. I know how you feel, honey. We all go through this. But things do work out. You'll see, time heals it all. Yeah, but for better or for worse. That's not the question. I know you're hurt now, honey. But these things pass away. You, Alma! Oh, that's Fan. She's just what we both needed to get us out of the dumps. Not tonight. If you don't mind, I'll just sort of slide out. All right, dear. Chin up. Thanks, Mr. Duvall. I heard you talking to somebody out there. Who are you talking to? Harry. He just he was just leaving. Harry. Oh, he ought to give up that one. Oh, Finn, you're terrible. Listen, on the way over here, I got to thinking about your whole situation, and I think I got a way to beat it. What situation? What are you talking about? Oh, don't give me that routine, girl. Now, you may fool yourself, but you don't fool me. Now, this is what I got in mind. Oh. When it's like this, none of that other counts. I wish it could be like this for the rest of our lives. I love you. It's been a wonderful summer. It's not over. I don't keep talking like it's over. I just want you to know I'll never forget it. I... I love you. I love you. I always love you. You know how things are. Another ten days, I'm going to be back at school. Another year before I get a degree and add two years intern, plus all the time it takes to get started. Wait, I'll wait. I'll wait and I'll work. I'll do anything I can. Don't make it difficult, no, Virginia. Why, listen. I want you to marry me. Now, let me be very, very honest with you. I got a long way to go, Virginia. And I don't want... I just can't afford the responsibility of knowing there's somebody in the world depending on me. Not yet. But when I won't do that, don't you see? I won't. I'll work. And I'll support myself. And I'll just be there. Don't, I'll Virginia. just be there for you whenever you want me. Don't. Please, it's not like we have to get married right away. It's not like that at all. I just want to be near you. Yeah, but don't you see that means getting married? This marriage thing keeps coming up all the time. Like tonight, your father, your mother. My mother? Every time she looks at me, I know that look. 
marriage just isn't in my scheme of things, not yet. Sure, eventually I'll get married, I suppose. Oh, you're a good kid, and you know how things are. That's why I know I can be completely honest with you. That's one of the wonderful things about you. Well, when I get married, it isn't gonna be just because I'm in love. The girl has gotta, well, she's gotta be somebody who can help my career. I wanna win, Virginia. And to win, I've gotta take every advantage, every toehold. I'm putting it to you straight. The girl I marry has to have money and position, social position. I'm telling you this because I know you'll understand, Virginia. Understand? Virginia! Virginia! Puff it. Puff it. You gotta keep puffing it, honey, or it'll go out. I'm puffing. Puff. Puff harder. That's it. I don't see how learning to smoke is gonna make any difference, Fran. Like I told you, Alma, a whole new personality can turn the trick. Jack's used to you because you got no surprises left in you. Now, what's he gonna say the first time you fish out a cigarette and light up? He's gonna say, Alma, have you gone crazy? Yeah, well, when he does, you just take a drag on a cigarette, blow the smoke in his face and say, what's it to you, lover? Oh, All right, now, come on. You gotta be serious here. Now, watch me. Watch my wrist. Hey, Jack. All right, let me try again. Good. Oh, that's good. Fine. Now remember, let the smoke out of your nose real slow. <coughs> Come on. Oh, Alma. I am never going to teach you how to smoke. You won't even try. I do so try. Oh, no, you don't. You sit there and you just let the smoke drift every which way. I can't help the way it drifts. Oh, Fan, can't we give it up? No, we can't. We started this and we're going to stick to it. That's your trouble, Alma. You don't have any stick to itivity. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right, honey. Now we'll try it again. Now just watch me carefully this time. Something I can watch. <clears throat> that is real gone to hell smoke. I could never do that in a hundred yes, years. Yes, you can. It just takes a little practice. Oh, no, I... No. Definitely N-O. You are going to stick to your diet. Well, you had two pieces. All right, I can afford two pieces. I'm not fat. Show me where I'm fat. It's all in the glands. Alma, I've got another idea. What would Jack say if he saw you have a drink? Say an occasional cocktail before dinner. Oh, Fan, me? I'm serious. In front of the children? The children, those hyenas. Listen, they're not children. They're grown up. Now, listen, you have got to assert yourself and show some independence. Oh, no, no. If Jack ever saw me drink... Now, he... Come on, get the jug. Let's see the booze. Well, we have some bourbon left over from Christmas. Good, good. No? Oh, here it is. Dandy. Will that be enough? Sure, get the glasses. And, Donna, don't look at it like that. It's not medicine. You sure that'll be enough? No, I ain't gonna get a stone, but it'll do for practice. Stoned? Is that anything like tiddly? Tiddly? It's stoned, zonked, knocked out. Oh, Fan, you're so smart. Shall I pour it? Honey, the first thing is you never say, shall I pour it? When you want to say it, say, how about a belt? How about a belt? No, you gotta say it like you mean it. Only cool, see? How about a belt, Jack? How about a belt, Jack? Yeah, that's it. Okay, now there's your belt. All right, pick it up like I do, see? Okay, good. All right, now, no, don't look at it. It's there, Alma. You know it's there. And you're very cool about it. Very cool. Mm hmm Okay. Now lean back. Relax. Good. Cross your legs. That's it. Okay, you're very loose. Play this whole thing loose. It's a whole new personality now. Different. Okay. Now, think about something real low. <laughs> I will not. Alma, I'm going to give up. All right. I'll try. Okay. 
You got one hand free, see? Now slap your leg and say, Hot damn. <laughs> How about a bell, Jack? How about a bell, Jack? Cuddle up here, lover. It's crazy out tonight. We learned such stuff, man. On TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no good. I'm a flower. Well, you're not doing this for yourself. You're doing it for Jack. Well, everything would be all right if I could just get him back to New Paris. If you could get him to go back, how do you know it would work out? Well, I could get him away. F We'd be together. Oh, I don't know why you want him when he's treated you like that. Oh, Jack hasn't treated me bad. He doesn't do anything other men don't do. If you mean my husband, you're mighty right. No, Fan. Listen, I didn't... it's all right. And me, we, we got tired of each other about the same time. Only someday I know he's going to quit playing around. Now he's going to come home, we're going to get old together, and we're going to take care of one another. That's what I was wondering. Suppose he, he would run off with somebody. He'd as soon sit down the table and eat a pound of arsenic. He's used to living with me. There isn't another woman in the whole world who could stand being in the same house with him, nor Jack neither. Thanks, it was fun. Oh, I'm so glad you came. It's Jack. Good night, Alma. And thanks. Good night, you old boozer, you. Come back for another you bell. Bet. You hear? Oh, Ma. Hello, dear. Papa's not home, huh? No. Would you like a nice glass of iced tea? Buddy, you're not going to start another fight. I didn't start it. I just don't understand you. But I didn't do anything. Here you are, you're the oldest, the one I depend on most. And I ask you just for one evening to keep your temper and what do you do? I'm sorry about that. I made him the cake and I got the present for you to give him. And what did you do? You smashed it on the floor. You made him so mad he went out and said terrible things to Virginia's gentleman caller. I did that, huh, Mom? I don't know what it is, these fights. Your own father, you even have the same name, John Henry Duval, Jr., Sometimes I think you just don't have any feeling for him at all. Oh, Mama. Mama, sure I feel. Don't you think I want to be able to be like a father and son to him? Don't you think I'd like to be able to talk to him, to be able to sit down and, and say, Papa, help me. Help me get ahead in this world. Well, tonight I tried. Tonight, well, you were sitting there. You saw what happened. But, but, honey, if you just keep calm and hope for the best, things always work out. Huh? No, that's your way. Me, I find nothing happens unless I make it happen personally. But, honey, you, you can't change your papa. You've been around him long enough to know that. No, but I, I got rights, Mama, certain rights. But if you just listen to him, after all, he's your father. He's older and why? You're not hearing a thing I'm saying. You're taking his side again. You always take his side. Well, what about me? Where, where do I fit in, Mama? Jack? That you, Jack? Oh, honey, honey, what happened? What's wrong, baby? <laughs> oh, Lead him on, you said. He's bringing the subject around and Mary. Getting my little special little night. You know, Mama, you and Papa are two of the kind, and you just can't keep your noses out of other people's visits. Oh, honey, I didn't You mean... know what I'm talking about, buddy? Yes, I know what you're talking about. You ruined it. You drove it right away from me. Oh, no, honey, no. You're my babies. I wouldn't do anything to harm you, not for anything in the world. Well, it's not why you're always taking his side against me, Mama. Mama, the deed's done anyway. Who are you to go giving advice about men when you can't even hold your own? Oh, honey, don't. Face it, Mama. Face it, you've lost it. No. Yes, you have. He's out with her this very minute. With who? I don't know who you're talking about. She's talking about a woman, Mama. What woman? There isn't any oh, woman. Oh, there isn't any woman. I've seen them. I've seen them together, and so is Buddy. No, That's the truth. He's not. He's not with her. 
with ever, whoever it is you're talking about. Those are just dirty lies you're telling me. Well, Mama, if he's not with her, where is he? Out, with, out on some big deal? He's with Billy, that's where with he is. With Billy? Do you believe that? Well, honey, I saw them with my own two eyes. I saw them leave here. They're going to the pool room. Mama, just stop! Just like Papa said he was going to tonight at supper. I don't know where you children think up such terrible things to say. There, there, there they are now. Jack! That you, Jack? Billy, where's your papa? Park in the car? I'll bet you had a wonderful time tonight, didn't you? Jack? Where is he, Billy? Well, he stayed on the uh, place more pool, didn't he? Yeah, Billy, that's what he did, didn't he? Tell Mama that's what he did. He had to stay on. There were some important people, Mama. Deals. There. You see, I was right. You silly children trying to get my goat. My life, what I said in there, I didn't mean it. No, honey, don't apologize. I can take a joke. Mama, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Either. I know, honey. I, know. I think what we all need is just a good night's sleep, don't you? Yeah, Mama, it's late. Let's go. You two go up. I'm going to stay down here for a while. But now, please don't wait up for Oh, me. I'm not waiting up for anybody. I'm just not sleepy, is all. Is that you, Jack? Hi, Mama. Oh, you stayed out so late. How do you expect to be fresh and new in the morning? Oh, talk, talk, talk. The guy just wouldn't stop talking. Was it a deal? Yeah, sure it was a deal. What are you doing up so late, Mama? Well, I was sitting in the kitchen. I must have dozed off. Isn't that the silliest thing you ever heard of? You worked too hard, Mama. You should get more rest. And I'm sorry I stayed out so late, dear, but, uh... This guy just talk, 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 you know. I just couldn't get a definite answer out of me either way, you know what I mean? You don't take any better care of your clothes than Billy. Never hang anything up. Everything's grown every which way. Never saw anything like you. Look at this shirt. Well, oh, here, come on, honey. It's, it's late. Let's go to What's bed. What's this? It looks like lipstick. Perfume. You got perfume on your shirt. All right, honey, just don't say anything, huh? It smells like cheap perfume. What is it, Jack? What do you want from her? I know, and I know what she's like. Cheap. No. You come in here smelling of her perfume, and you look at me like I wasn't here. She's not cheap. Common. She's not common. Cheap. 
common and vulgar. No, she's not what you think. She's she's a young girl. She's she has no family, no friends. She's she's young and and kind of lost. I guess you'd call it. I'm I'm her world. And you take pity on her, is that it? Not exactly. I... Billy was home four hours ago. Have you been with her all this time? No, no, no. I drove around, tried to think things through. I. Jack, Jack, please listen to me. Why won't you ever listen to me, Jack? We could get in the car right now. We could we could drive to New Paris and we could be there before the sun was up. Wouldn't that be nice, Jack? We could have breakfast at Essie Mae's big old kitchen. We would have fresh eggs and country fried ham. Mama, she she, she loves me. But I love you, Jack. I, know, but I it, love. Honey, it, it's like I was twenty again. Like I was young the, the way I never was. The way you and me never knew love could be like. Jack, I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it, Jack. Please. Alma, come on back and sit down. A watch pot never boils. Oh, Sam, I don't know what to do. Relax, honey. I just don't know what to do. I've phoned the office all day, and Buddy says he hasn't seen hide a hair of him. Why knock yourself out? He isn't worth it. If he'd only call. You know what I think? I think he's been hitting the bottle. He's got himself so drunk someplace he can't even make it home. Oh, no, Fan. He's with that woman. Oh, Alma, maybe he only said those things to hurt you. No, he wasn't making it up. I never saw him like that before. He'll come home, honey. Nineteen, he said she was. Oh, so she's young. She's cheap. No, Fan, I've been fooling myself too long. I'm too tired to go on. You know, it takes an awful lot out of you to try and fool yourself. But I'm through. All right, so you're through. That doesn't mean you're through with him. But suppose he really loves her. Oh, love. What's that? It's just a word. I don't know what gets into a man. What the devil? What did the children say this morning? Oh, they, they didn't say anything. We just sat there like strangers in a lunchroom. Pass the sugar. Is there any more coffee in the pot? We didn't say anything. They just got up and went their own separate ways. Twenty-five years. I've loved him all that time, Fan. He was such a good-looking boy. I was only 15 when I first saw him. Just a skinny little kid. I used to hide in the hummock and watch him go by in his parroque. That's kind of a boat the Cajuns use. And he'd come gliding along, standing up straight, all that black hair in his eyes. He was the most beautiful thing you ever saw. I was ashamed of being so skinny because I was scared he wouldn't like me. So I used to eat and eat. My mother thought I was stock raving mad. I used to stuff handkerchiefs down the front of my dress so I'd look. <laughs> and then after a while, I didn't need the handkerchiefs. He began to notice me. I was pretty then, Fan, for a couple of years. And kind of crazy, I guess, because I wanted to be wild like him. After we was married, we moved to New Paris. And I had Buddy, and then Virginia, and, and Billy. Right now, I'm glad I don't have any children. Oh, no, Fan. It would have been worse without the children. Oh, he tried, Fan. He, he, he really tried. Like with, with the games. Of course, he doesn't do it anymore now, but he used to be bringing games home all the time. Lotto and Pachisi and Monopoly. He used to let the children win all the time. <laughs> and come home after work and right after supper, we get out the games. 
then it was nice, you know? Two and three nights in a row like that, and then... Off he'd go again. It's him. Let him talk. And don't get mad. Play it sweet and he'll feel worse. Jack, what are you doing? What are you doing with that suitcase? Maybe. Where are you going? Jack, answer me. Where are you going? I told you I'm leaving. Isn't that enough? No, it isn't. Now, you stop that silly packing and look at me. You're acting like some crazy young'un that's running away from home because he got a whipping. Jack, I've been phoning the office all morning. I didn't know where you were. You're running away with her. Is that it? It's been coming for a long time. You mean since you met this girl? No, I thought of it long before I knew her. Why didn't you do it then? I'd rather you had instead of running off like this, like some wild shirt tail boy. I had to wait till the children were grown. You haven't been much of a father to them. You don't have to tell me. Jack, what did I do wrong? Alma, it was nothing you did. Nothing you could help. Then why are you going? I wanted something better than this. Do you think I didn't? You had the children. But Jack, they were yours. They were yours. That's why I loved them. You loved them because they were children. The way you could never love a man. Jack, if I... If I failed you in some way, I'll try to do better. Maybe I could work in the office with you and then I wouldn't be tied down to the house. I could be better company for you. It's too late. Let me try, Jack. Please stay and let me try. Alma, Alma. I know what it would be like, and I don't want it. Look, I've tried. And I, I, I've done my best. I've stayed and I've provided. Now, I'm not going to stay here and grow old and die. Jack, don't. Now I'm going to do what I want to do. No, don't go, Jack. Please don't go. After you've gone, I'll think of all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't. You could go back to New Paris, Jack. We don't have to stay here with the children. We could go back where we belong. We'd be better off if we never left New Paris. New Paris, the land of miracles, where everything comes out all right. We were a real family there. But Jack, we had a nice house. We had things that we could talk about to each other. We all knew the same people. Remember how we taught the children to square dance when Virginia was only that high? Yes, Alma, I, I remember. And remember the picnics we used to go to all, all over the country? Alma, th that never happened more than two or three times. Huh? Oh, no, no, Jack, you're wrong. It happened every week or so. You've just gone and forgotten all the good times. I forget nothing. Listen to me. Alma, now listen to me. New Paris is just a place we lived in once. We, we were young and poor and life was rough. It took a war and a swing shift job to blast us out of there. New Paris was just a, a mean, poor bit of dirt with erosion and falling down shacks. But we were happy. We were young and the children oh. were, were little. Alma, is, is, is that what you remember? Is that what you miss, honey? No, no, I miss you, Jack. Look, don't follow me out to the car unless you want to meet her. You want to meet her? No. Alma, then, goodbye. Jack. Alma. Alma, now look. It, it, it's not that I don't love you, see? It, it, it's not that at all. It's... You, you know me. I... I am what I am. Where are you and her going? Florida. Oh, they, they say it's nice in Florida. They say that's the land of eternal youth. Yeah. Will I be hearing from you? No. 
Jack, I'll, I'll be worrying about you. I'll be worrying whether you're all right. Oh, my God, you're a child. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now go. And take good care of yourself. Forgetting one thing, buddy. That business doesn't even belong to you. That business belongs to Mama. Isn't that right? That's just a little detail we'll have to take care of, isn't it? Oh. Well, buddy, maybe Daddy will just get tired of this girl. And maybe she'll get tired of him. Did you ever think about that? Bleed him white and then maybe run, run off with another guy? Well, I can't imagine any woman walking off on him. Well, how about it, Billy? Oh, shh. It's no go, buddy. And the reason it's no go is this. I'm not even going to be around here. Where do you think you're going? I'm going in the Air Force. The Air Force? Billy, when did this happen? I went down this afternoon and I saw a guy. Well, you're not going to go. Who says I'm not going to go? I say you're not going to go. Now, you're going to wait and you're going to be drafted like I did. I'm leaving in two weeks, buddy. Listen to me, Billy. Get this straight. From now on, I'm the head of the family and you're going to do I'm like going and nothing wait, you can wait, say. Wait, wait, now, wait, you two. Billy, hush, hush, hush. Knock, hush. The, knock Billy, the teeth hush. out of that big mouth Billy, of yours. Will, you, will you quit it? You at least talk to Mama before we decide anything. I just wish he would come back. Well, I want to get one thing clear right now. If I take over, it won't be for him. Now, I'm not going to build up the business and have him come back and clean out the cash register. From now on, what I do is for Buddy DeVal. Before you said it was for everybody. Now, you stay out of it, Billy. You're running out on the family, so you got no say-so in this. No, Buddy, Billy, please. I don't want any fights. Nobody's fighting, Mama. It... Look, it's just that we've got a situation here that we've got to get straightened out. Seventy. Come on, take the boat. <laughs> Seventy, that's, that's pretty fast. Chicken. Come on, honey. Come on, dude. Come on, don't, don't, don't mess around. Come on. Honey, come on, baby. No, no don't out? mess around, honey. No, honey, but... You're acting like an old man. Yeah. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Baby, baby, now, come on. Honey, knock it off. He's driving this milk wagon like it was hers. This is Bud Duval. I'm his son. But he's not. What? But are you... When? I'm sorry. Where was it again? No, I. Yes, yes, I, I, I know. I know the place. We. Look, I'll be down in about a half hour. No, we, we don't know her. We, we don't know her, I said. No, we don't know who she was.
they provide that service, Mama. It's in the contract I drew up with them. Now, why don't you ride in the back with us? No, buddy, I don't want a stranger. That's the city way of doing things. Now, you children, get to your seats. Are you sure you don't want me to sit with you, Mama? No, honey, I'd, I'd rather have it this way. The limousine and hearse will meet us at the station, Mom. All aboard! Thanks. I didn't want to talk to Mama about this before the funeral, about the money, I mean. But it seems Papa's been borrowing some on the insurance. Now, there's still $9,000. There's a couple of hundred on hand in cash at the office, and there's about 4000 in savings. Boy, you didn't waste any time, did you? Look, you want to make some kind of wise remark, you go ahead. You don't bother me. Nothing bothers you, huh? I'm asking you real nice, Billy. Take it easy, will you? You ain't hardly dead, but you're jumping and grabbing. You know, I... I haven't heard you say one word about him, not, not one word. What am I supposed to say, Billy? Am I supposed to make some kind of a speech? Or have you even said that you're sorry? What are you talking about? You really hated him, didn't you? Billy, what are you talking about? I know him better than both of you put together. You hated him. What do you say to him? What do you do when he starts that stuff? Virginia, when I got to the scene of the accident, when I saw him dead like that, I didn't realize until I, I didn't, it suddenly hit me that I, I had never said to this man that I loved you. I thought of all the things that, that I should have said, the times I should have, should have tried to talk to him. And I realized it was too late. I wish you'd known, Mr. Duval. I wish I had, ma'am. But you folks were before my time. And now, if you'll excuse me, please. Thank you. I, I thought it'd be so different. So many more friends, more people. It was a long time ago, Alma. People move, change, forget. Oh, I haven't forgotten, Essie May. I remember it just as clear. The house and all those happy young faces. The preacher's waiting to drive me home. Oh, okay, you run along. Are you sure you won't stay for supper? The limousine's ready, Mom. No, we have to go to the railroad station. I wish I could stay. Jack used to speak of coming back to New Paris just for a visit. But he was busy, you know, this business and the, the family and the house. But he used to say, Alma, honey, we got to go back and see all those wonderful people again. Goodbye, Alma. You get to the city, you come see us here. Mama, 
It's time. Just a minute. It's just a little further on. Mama, what's the sense? Buddy, I want to see it again. You just drive on. I'll tell you when to stop. Get out, ma'am. You see, he was right, dear Papa. You can't go back. Oh, Mama. Oh, no, I thought you could. I thought that was the way that we... But when I saw Essie May, almost like a stranger, and that old pile of boards, and to think, all these years, that stood for happiness in my mind. Well, that's all over with. But I still have you all. I still have my children. I've got a lot to look forward to. Watching you get successful, buddy. And you will. I'm going to try, Mama. Oh, sure you will. Your papa always said you would. And I'll be getting letters from Billy, all about jet planes and new places and new people. And then later on, grandchildren. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, grandchildren. I know. Harry will be waiting there at the station for you when you get back. You know what would be good for Mama right now? A nice vacation. A, a, a chance to wheel and deal on your own for a change, Mama. On my own? Oh, sure. No. Yes, you Buddy. need a holiday. You've never taken one, and it's high time you did. You could go to Florida, Mama. They say that's the land of eternal youth? Oh, no, I couldn't. Who'd be here to take care of all you children? I guess you've all grown up, but I haven't. But I, I will. I will. I'm going to try. Come on, Mama. Let's go home. Home? Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. We better be getting home. Oh, feel that breeze? And look at those clouds over there. I guess the hot spell's over.